Hi, I'm Kirk Johnson, and welcome to a very special episode of Wrong Choices, the TV show. Tonight we have something very special planned for you. Instead of discussing car accidents and bad party situations, we have a little something called Real Life Scary Movie Situations, entitled When Scared Goes Dumb and Dumb Goes Insane. Let's start off with a scenario. You and your three friends decide to go see a scary movie at a midnight showing. Everyone gets in the car. You are the driver and you begin to start the car, but the car doesn't work. You just realize you have entered one f***ed up situation. Your friend with an IQ of 13 asks you, what's wrong with the car? You have no idea, but you are suspicious of your car's activity. What do you do? Do you A, tell her to shut up because you know that she has been seeing your boyfriend and you have no idea who invited her. B, call triple A because you don't know how to fix a car. Or C, yell and scream. B is the correct answer, but sadly, our dumb friend chooses C. <coughs> Your boyfriend decides to be smart and gives a suggestion. He says, how about I call someone? Let me just get my phone out of my pocket. Your boyfriend looks at his phone and tells everyone he doesn't have a signal. Now, accepting that only one phone in this situation has no signal, your boyfriend decides to look for a payphone. Really, like, like you can't find one out of those anywhere these days? Nope. Outside in the middle of the night. While your boyfriend is laying on the ground dying a slow and painful death on the passenger seat of the car, you can't help but miss him. Worrying if it was a good idea to let him go by himself, not even realizing that his body is laying on the ground right next to you, after waiting for 30 minutes, you're worried that something might have happened to him. What do you do? Do you A. Ask your friends if they should call the police because you are worried something might happen to your boyfriend. B. Tell your friends that we should go look for your boyfriend together and leave the car. Or C. Tell your male friend in the back seat that he should go look for your boyfriend because someone has to stay in the car. A is the correct answer. Even B might have given you a 50-50 chance at survival, but of course our idiotic friend chooses C, sending our gangsta friend to take his chances outside. Our gangsta friend isn't going down that easy. <laughs> he knows something is up and feels the creepy sensation, and homie isn't having that. Our gangsta friend decides to give you some choice words, telling you that your boyfriend told him about the affair between your best friend and him. He calls you stupid and exclaims that nobody wanted to go to the movies anyway. He continues to rant, exclaiming that he is a man and won't take anything from nobody. But he forgets about the creepy sensation he had before and leaves the car in frustrated outrage. Next thing you know, you hear a scream. Ah! Do you A. Take your friend's phone in the back seat and dial 911. B. Bang your head against the steering wheel. Or C. Roll down the window and say, is anyone there? A is the smart choice. But this show isn't called wrong choice for nothing. Again, our insane friend chooses C. Is anyone out there? You reach an epiphany. Knowing this might be your last minutes, you finally tell your friend how you feel. 
You call her a home wrecker and resent her for messing up your relationship. The killer finally reaches into the car, and with it, you come to accept your last wrong decision. Death. This has been When Scared Goes Dumb and Dumb Goes Insane. Tonight, please don't be like our stupid friend here. Make safe choices in scary situations. Thank you, and good night.